Many of us have tons of questions about planning and Medicaid, and here to clear the air, our expert in elder law, Gary Price. Good to see you as always. Good to be back. Thank you. What are some of the things we, when we begin to think about planning and Medicaid, where do we begin? Because it's kind of overwhelming. It is. Um, you know, knowledge is the first place to get to understand the process, the Medicaid application process, how to be qualified, what to do, what not to do. Uh, that's usually the first step is just, it, it's, it's the first step in a lot of things, getting knowledge, getting familiar with the process. Do you go to their website and kind of begin there? But what if you, there's nobody there to answer your questions, which you're surely going to have them. Right. Um, no, you don't go to the website. <laughs> I don't recommend that. Um, I, you know, I, I wrote the book on Indiana and Medicaid, and um, I think that's a good place to start because, as we've discussed before, the book has uh, the book was written based upon questions most often asked of me, and so um, it clears up a lot of questions you have, a lot of misconceptions that you have. So I think the first step might be the book. And that's just writing you, calling that, you, and just, it's free. That's just giving us a call. Okay, so you can yeah. see that right behind us, and that has lots of, of the answers that you need. But it's also good to have a human being <laughs> to talk to. Sure. Sometimes we don't even know what questions to ask. Well, this will help you do that as well, because th this is going to identify at least questions that are most often asked. So, and usually when you get started with the questions, you'll, you'll start thinking of your own. It starts uh, rolling in it there. It starts, yeah. Well, what's the story about being able to give $15,000? What does that mean? Who's eligible to do that? Right. Well, we're all el eligible to do that. I mean, the tax code allows us to make a gift of $15,000, up to $15,000 a year for any number of people. However, tax law is different than Medicaid. So... Medicaid says you can give up to a total of $1,200 per year. So uh, not 15000 per person or 1200 per person, 1200 total. So, total. You, okay. so you have to be careful there. You know, gift, gifting is a kind of a two-edged sword. On the one hand, people get in trouble with gifting all the time because they think, okay, we can give $15,000, let us do it. Um, and you can for taxes, but again, you can't for Medicaid. On the other hand, gifting is often quite often used in Medicaid planning. So there are some, if you do it strategically and correctly, you can gift certain sums of money. And, and let me say this, not only there's math involved, uh, <laughs> so not only are you gifting a certain sum of money based upon your estate, the size of your estate, the planning involves getting the right amount and also gifting at the right time. So it, it, so again, gifting can get people in trouble if they do it just to do it. Uh, on the other hand, it's, it's, it's a strategy that we often use in Medicaid planning. And timing is everything, it sounds timing like Timing is very much everything. Are you talk, do you talk about that in your book, or is I that do. something you have to have a conversation with with your clients one-on-one? Well, on one? we talk generally about it in the book, but in order to, to make a determination specifically for you, we would need to discuss the, uh, the issue of gifting with you in particular. Because again, in order to determine the uh, amount of gift, we take a look at the size of your estate. And to determine when is the right time to give, we look at your situation. Is it, are we planning for something that is in the future? Uh, a certainty in the future, or are you just concerned about Medicaid and we're talking about it just in case? And so the planning is, is very important, and those are factors in determining. Thank you, Gary Price. It's always an education when he's here. Get the book if you have questions and make an appointment. Thanks, Gary. Thank Good you. Steve. Good to be here. And we'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Gary Price, elder law attorney.